Hello and welcome to my channel. In this channel, we explain various nursing concepts in a simple form for a better and easy understanding. These videos could be used by both LPN and RN students as well as nurses who are trying to refresh their basic concepts. My name is Nas Mosh. In this video, we are going to talk about growth hormone deficiency, growth hormone excess, pheochromocytoma, and hypoaldosterone disorders. So growth hormone deficiency, this is where we have inadequate secretion of the growth hormone from the arterial pituitary gland, and this may be due to a congenital disorder, an injury, or damage to the pituitary gland, or it could be an issue with the hypothalamus. So the hypothalamus produces the growth hormone releasing hormone, GHRH, and this allows for the secretion of the growth hormone. Signs and symptoms include Primarily, the patient will have a short stature, but will be proportional to the weight and height of the patient. They will have a reduced mass, muscle mass, increased fat, and delayed puberty. So for diagnosis, we can do a growth hormone stimulating test. We can also do a bone age scan, CT scan for patients' head to check for abnormalities in the pituitary gland or the hypothalamus. Treatment. We provide the patient with growth replacing hormone. For example, samotropin. It is administered subcutaneously. We stop the samotropin once the x ray shows epiphyseal closure. And the x ray will be done throughout the treatment so we don't miss the mark of the epiphyseal closure. Growth hormone excess. This is where we have an excess secretion of the GH from the arterial pituitary gland. And this could be due to some kind of tumor or lesion in the pituitary gland or either some dysfunction with the hypothalamus. This could lead into an increase of growth of bone and cartilage and increase of protein synthesis. So signs and symptoms will depend on when we had the onset of this disorder. So if we have growth hormone excess prior to epithelial closure, this can result to giantism, which is excessive height and arthritis. We, if we have the onset of the growth hormone excess after the plate closure, it will result in agromegaly and signs and symptoms include enlarged hands and feet, protruding jaw, kyphosis, stature, arthritis, and large larynx which will cause a deep hollow voice. Diagnosis. CT or MRI scan of the pituitary gland to check for the tumor or lesions. Treatment. Hypophysectomy would be performed. So pheochromocytoma. This is where we have a tumor on the adrenal gland which causes excessive secretion of epinephrine and norepinephrine from the adrenal medulla. With excess norepinephrine and epinephrine this stimulates the sympathetic response which is our fight and flight mode so signs and symptoms will include tachycardia headache hypertension diaphoresis and shortness of breath so diagnosis this could be performed um, the diagnosis could be either we could either perform a 24 hour urine test where we test for the byproducts of the elevation of norepinephrine and epinephrine we could also do a clonodine suppression test an mri or a ct scan to identify if the patient has a tumor treatment the patient will need surgery the removal of the tumor prior to the surgery the patient will be given an, uh, an hypertensive medication because of the extreme hypertension. We never palpate the abdomen of this patient who is suspected to have this disorder because this could trigger the sudden release of norepinephrine and epinephrine which can turn trigger hypertension in the patient. Hyperaldosterone. This is where we have an adenoma or hyperplasia in the adrenal gland such that the excess amounts of aldosterone are being secreted. So aldosterone hormone causes the reabsorption of water and sodium and the excretion of potassium. With too much aldosterone, we are going to have over reabsorption of water and sodium and over excretion of potassium so the signs and symptoms of this will be hypertension due to the increased blood volume headache and weakness labs will see hypokalemia increased aldosterone levels and hyper 
nitremia. We could diagnose this through a CT scan of the adrenal gland. Treatment will be adrenal lectomy. We could administer potassium sparing di diuretics like prenolactone. Since we are wasting a lot of potassium, we need to replenish it. And remember when we have potassium irregularities, we could end up with dysrhythmias. And we should encourage the patient to consume foods low in sodium and high in potassium. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you on the next one. Bye.